Now it's quite interesting what's happening in the um, student-led side mm. of Leeds, isn't it? Because yeah. in the past, obviously, it's got a massive student population and it was very popular with yes. HMO landlords. Mm. But things, times are changing, aren't they? It's quite a big uh, transition in Leeds at the minute, yes. Uh, things are changing. I mean, they're, they're saying recently this year that Headingley uh, numbers, uh, the numbers of students in Headingley have actually decreased by 20% mm. uh, this year. So big changes. Students are kind of migrating towards the city centre. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things going on. There's um, lots of house shares now. So there's lots of professional house shares where landlords um, previously may have let their property to uh, students uh, are now letting them out to professionals on a room by room mm -hmm. uh, let because tenants can't can now no longer afford to li live on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, once they have their rent and all the bills and it all adds up, you know, you, you're looking at six, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds and and people's uh, incomes just can't afford that. So people are living together uh, in houses and sharing houses with people they don't know. But I understand also that the university has built a lot of halls of residence, so they're now accommodating mm, quite mm, a significant mm. proportion of the students. Yeah, well, there's a lots of um, also private companies that are in um, along with the universities are mm. you know creating lots of these uh, halls which are, are quite central and, and within um, this you know within the city centre mm -hmm. uh, which is causing a lot of the student migration to the city mm -hmm. centre um, and a lot of these rooms are available for 100 to 100 pound, mm -hmm. 110 pound a week um, and they've got their own en suites maybe own kitchenettes all inclusive bills modern apartment city centre next to university um, so you know great value for students but it's it's causing a few issues out on the suburbs for some of the long-time student landlords. Now Leeds being a city it goes without saying that it's got great transport links, mm. great amenities so I know that there's opportunities here for buy-to-let landlords so if um, if I was a, a landlord coming to you now saying Luke uh, what would be where's the most tenant demand what sort of property should I be buying what mm. would you say? Mm. Well I think there's still you know a huge tenant demand and I think there will be for, for absolute years to come um, I, I, you know, I think um, it depends on your budget and yeah, of course. and where you want to uh, where you want to invest the the money into in what what's your strategy. Um, Would you say know, there's I... demand for for family homes? Oh for yeah, 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 of course. And there's lots of obviously lots of reluctant landlords that are letting their homes out, and mm -hmm. so people are renting homes and renting their homes out, etc. So I think there's huge demand. If if I had m lots of money in the bank right now. Um, I'd probably go for two beds mm -hmm. uh, at the minute, one and two beds, because I think... Um, you mean you know, flats as opposed to houses? Yeah, well, flats and houses, yeah. one and two beds, mm -hmm. maybe uh, suburbs. I think you can pick up some, some one and two beds in Leeds mm -hmm. around about 80,000 to 100,000 pounds. You can rent them out for 500 to 550, uh -huh. potentially going up to 600 for a two bed, um, which you know is quite a good investment and quite a good Quite return. a good yield there, mm -hmm. so I think um, I think it's, it's you know it's a good time to be picking up and investing in property at the minute.